Have you ever wanted to create stunning animations in your Android app, only to find yourself stuck on how to move views smoothly? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to move a view to another view using animation in Android. I totally get how frustrating it can be when you're trying to animate views and they just don't behave as expected. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar challenges when working with animations. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked how to animate a copy of an image view and text view from the top and bottom of the screen into a circle at the center. They want to change the text value inside the circle while keeping the original values intact. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So, what could be causing the issues with your animation? It often comes down to incorrect coordinates or not retaining the original view's position after the animation. We'll break it down step by step to help you get it right. And don't go anywhere. I've got a fantastic tip at the end that will help you master animations in Android. To begin, the user needs to calculate the center coordinates of the circle where the animation will end. This can be done by getting the circle's position on the screen. Next, the user should create a method to animate the views. This method will take the starting view and the calculated center coordinates as parameters. Inside the animation method, the user can use the translate animation class. They should set the start and end coordinates based on the view's current position and the center coordinates. Finally, the user should update the text in the center circle after the animation completes. This can be done using an animation listener. Did you know? The first mobile apps were so basic that they could barely do anything more than display text. Now we can create complex animations with just a few lines of code. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggested by another user involves using the getX and getY methods to define the view's position in pixels. Instead of using translate animation, they recommend animating the view directly to the target coordinates. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative approach provided by another user suggests calculating the accurate coordinates for moving your view. They recommend using the animate method to smoothly transition the view to the center of the target view. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always test your animations on different devices to ensure they look smooth everywhere. This one habit can save you from unexpected surprises. And there you have it. You should now be able to animate views into your circle smoothly. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips. And don't miss our bonus pro tip on mastering Android animations.